Welcome everybody. This is No Bullshit Gaming Podcast to have gamers session number 20. Session number 20 already. We are discussing the latest industry news, having fun and dropping knowledge. Today we are only dropping knowledge, so definitely keep listening. But let's not forget, this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so please stop being so serious. Today we have Felix Ad Monetization Wizard. Bravo. Oi. There you go. <laughs> Jakub Game Design Lunatic Remyar and myself, Mate UA uh, Charlatan <laughs> Lancharic. <laughs> Today we are going to discuss Ant's Underground uh, Kingdom Creatives. And uh, we are looking forward to it. So we have one announcement I have to make. And uh, well, oh, is it a guys, correction? I was going to say we had no corrections. Yeah, this there's is a no correction. correction. Oh, yeah, there's no, no okay, correction. Cool. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just want to say you're awesome. Not you two guys, but uh, you <laughs> all, you listeners. <laughs> Thank you very much for amazing feedback you are sending. Please keep doing that. We love it, and we love the the positive vibes. But also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The subscribers are definitely increasing, and uh, let's do that on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. Yeah. Anything we, about the amazing conference you went to, Felix? Yeah, I just want to say, like, the, the feedback has been amazing. I prefer the feedback when it's not coming from legal teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's way better. Anyway, yeah, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Mr. John Speakman. He put on a really good ad monetization conference yesterday in Berlin called Games Forum. Uh, like, yeah, the content, the people there. Super sharp, super intimate. I think we're about 125, 130 people, but oh, that's nice. content super relevant. People there super like yeah relevant in terms of admon. I learned a lot. It was really interesting. Looking forward to going to the next one because the last couple of ones I've been to for this is like my world. It's exactly what you want to learn about. So yeah, well done, John. So if you if I am uh, the UA charlatan, it's it's also relevant for me, or is it just uh, admon only? That's pretty much admon only. Like there were a couple of UA people there, but you know, I think they were it's just quite keen to travel. But like yeah. you know, like it's downstream from you guys, so you know, shit That's flows right. downstream. So we're there to gather it up oh, as yeah, best yeah. we can, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I, it, it's it's gonna be relevant for me as well. Come one time, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, of course. So uh, any any news on your side, Mister Jakub, the the guy with glasses, <laughs> Remyar? <laughs> Every, every episode, <laughs> new title. <laughs> yeah, someone told me yesterday at the Games Forum, it's like, yeah, yeah, Felix and Machi, you guys are like barking, but that guy with sunglasses, he's really clever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. the, have you seen the like how he's holding the mic all, all the time? I was, I, I checked that like every episode, he's like really like hugging the, the mic. Oh, here's my mic. <laughs> It's because I don't have that thing that you put it on, you know, it's not hanging. So you, you are standing. just holding it in your hand? Yeah, because I oh have, my a, God. <laughs> I <Okay>. have a <laughs> keyboard that's sitting under the table that you need to, you know, put out of the table. So, Did, okay, you should, get, okay. Should, I, should I buy you uh, the arm? No, 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 this is better. Trust You're me. You're so ghetto. Better. Okay, enough out of you two. <laughs> Let's go on to the analysis <laughs> of this game, which you two have not been stopping talking about. You guys oh, yeah. think this is the best thing since sliced bread, but it's the best thing since, yeah, a new kind of, I guess, genre, insect games. So uh, that's why we're going to no, devoting, yeah, devoting this episode to. So Ant's Underground Kingdom. I'm going to give a little brief overview here before kicking it off to these two geniuses who want to explain why this is such a big deal. So, um, the Ants Underground Kingdom comes from Star Union Interactive Entertainment, which was established in 2019 um, by the legendary Chen Li. And Chen Li is legendary because this guy was the core member of the production team for Mafia City. So, yeah, this guy really knows his stuff and he's been around the block. So, yeah, definitely not a noob. Uh, he left after about four years and started Star Union. Got an investment with, with about 15 million uh, won. 20% uh, of that came from Tencent. So, you know, big backing, you know, big expectations. Uh, so, they started off by making a massive loss in 2020 well, what can you do 
Yeah, I know. You know, you got to spend money to make money. But then after that loss, like gradually, uh, basically, yeah, they started moving in and yeah, making all these different types of games. And then uh, in January 2021, I guess their first hit came out. And that is the game we're going to be talking about today. And that is The Ants, The Underground Kingdom. It has been downloaded now about 5 million times in uh, about six months. Just in 2021, it was downloaded 5 million times. And after launching only for one month in Japan, it was already the seventh highest gross, grossing game in the free, free-to-play genre. Um, yeah. It's just like, it's just one of these, yeah, one of these juggernauts that's just come. And right now, according to one of our favorite app analysis tool. It's uh, the fastest growing theme. It's basically created a new theme, like Animal Insect. This theme generated $26.5 million in the US. And basically, it's growing like wildfire. And most of this growth is pretty much just coming from this game. And you guys think they're creatives and assuming game design is just the best thing you've ever heard or seen. And I those would love to are, know more. <laughs> yeah, those creatives are pretty amazing. But uh, it's, um, it's basically a base building strategy game. So it's Forex game in uh, an animal insect theme, which is pretty unique. Yeah, let, let me say just that uh, from the beginning of the game, it doesn't seem to be a forex game, which is, I, I guess, the theme these days where forex games are masquerading as something different. Good example would be something like Top War, which seems like a, you know, little merge game here and there. Suddenly you're, you know, fighting clans and armies on that big map as usual, and this uh, follows the same formula. Whereas the usual forex games from the times of Machine Zone, you would have that premeditated uh, base building element where everything was pretty much scripted and static and you would just, you know, click here, click there, upgrade this, upgrade that. With Ant's Kingdom, it seems as you're building this kind of ant nest and you are actually choosing some of the things ant yourself. Ant Kingdom and it's Kingdom. <laughs> On a okay. nest, it says in the title. <laughs> Kingdom yeah. is, is the next thing that happens. First, you need oh, yeah, to nest okay. with the All queen, right. with the oh, workers with the queen, and everything. Yeah. But the important thing, you even dig out the space. So you, yeah. you kind of have that feel that you have, you know, selected this area to be built here and, and there. You are and in, the, you are, you are uh, in, charge. in power. Yeah, in charge. Yeah. So, so they did this very well. And like first few, I would say even maybe hours, you don't see any Forex kind of features. And only after that, somewhere later down the line, you have the usual Forex map with the shields, with people killing each other mercilessly, and then, you know, paying for super, yeah. super expensive stuff in order to survive in that environment. So that, that, that's done really well. So why is this uh, like uh, an amazing uh, achievement? Like you said, uh, there's this uh, favorite uh, tool that we use. And uh, they said that uh, this growth in animal insect theme was an increase by 904% year over year. And almost 80% was thanks to the growth of the ants underground kingdom from Star Union. So uh, I think that's... That's, that's basically this game. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> this game. <laughs> there were some other games, but it was like really small. So like 10%, nobody cares. But it's 26, mm. yeah, 26 million, pretty nice. And that's only in US. Only in US. So, uh, yeah, we don't we see the exact uh, Asia numbers as, as we can't, as usual. But yeah. I'm guessing they're even bigger there, probably. Because one thing that fascinates me on, on this is that I don't think so it's that popular in the West as for the team itself, but in Asia, collecting insects and stuff. Like the original Pokemon came from the idea that the author of Pokemon was collecting insects. It's fucking Wikipedia here. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but it, it's like that. Like they have a insect version of Power Rangers in Japan. <laughs> of course they I have. You no, know so have. okay, yeah. I'm just <laughs> impressed. <laughs> How would you know? How would you know? This is like Google. <laughs> Google, but okay, but what did you type into Google? Do Man, Japanese I was, people I was playing Pokemon for like twenty years? What do you okay, expect? Okay, and then <laughs> how did but Google? But even even if you play Pokemon, like how do you end up googling like Power Rangers insects in in Japan? Oh, uh, you watch. Okay, you okay, watch, we're digressing. Let's get, let's get back to this genius it's game. There. Come on, guys, pull it back. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Jokes aside. No, but uh, 
so the question is like what stands behind the success of the ants uh, the underground kingdom well this is uh, as Jakub mentioned it's partly because it's 4x dressed as a, as a very different genre and uh, the first time user experience is very different but behind all the success also is very very good advertising strategy and a very good creative strategy because uh, I think since these this game came out in um, in our region they were just flooding Facebook with like millions of creatives like very different concepts and we are getting to get get into that but Star Union was Star Union was very cautious when uh, when launching this game in the beginning they were targeting mostly Google Play and mainly Europe and United States but then in June uh, when the iOS was launched on iOS the main regions became Korea, Australia, Canada, US, and obviously Japan. So Japan was like number seven, there you go, uh, insects, uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> so apparently, as uh, Mr. Wikipedia says, they love insects. But what, what do I mean by the, the amazing advertising strategy? So they're using a lot of videos and uh, obviously insects, but the videos, are driving the, the whole performance of the game at the moment. So most inspirations, they are taking from uh, from a different competition, like Hero Wars, Kingdom Guard, Top War, Evony, and others from like hyper casual games that I've been saying all along from uh, last year. But they also created their own creative ideas based on the motivations and uh, that covers most of most types of the players like progression type of players power and expertise whatever else so th yeah there you go question so would yeah. you say these creatives are so good that you are totally stealing it right now and making creatives that look similar oh yeah i've been stealing that for like past four months already <laughs> no but these like they are uh, leveraging these motivations but also what is really important in these creatives it's humor and fun dude you you watch that creative and you're just like Wow, this is so funny! <laughs> I really, I really want to download the game. There is a fun fact that um, you know they are using square, vertical, and horizontal creatives 99% uh, of the time, even on, on Instagram. But what we found out, like uh, having a four to five uh, or like four to five uh, creative ratio on Instagram always beats every other placement. So this is a little bit UA geek um, information, but still. Uh, <laughs> so this is pretty fun fact because the the visuals are perfectly sized and cropped for the Instagram new Instagram feed and nothing is uh, is uh, looking that great when you are having f vertical format on uh, on Instagram feed and everything is cropped so this this is very good fun fact uh, all right so what are the the most common types of videos uh, and themes they are using so there is the, the realistic life of ants. <laughs> Which is, uh, well, they, again, the beginning, they used the real acting videos by ants a, a lot. They, they are still active in, uh, in Japan uh, because... Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's easier to attract insect lovers. Japanese players love this, apparently. So uh, yeah, usually people won't understand life habits of ants without researching. That's why we have Jakub over here so that he can explain. And even when we <laughs> talked about this like um, a, a month ago, he started saying about like uh, ant no, war in the US. Yeah, yeah. yeah, ant colonies in, in the US because I was in Santa Barbara and uh, there was like a lot of ants uh, in, in my house, apparently, because that's what happens when it's really dry uh, in Santa Barbara. And he immediately thought, like, oh, well, you know, like, this is the red ants versus the, the blue ants from Argentina. I was like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, that's so, yeah. actually happening. To so that's actually fighting happening. In yeah. America. <laughs> yeah, that's actually happening. So I was, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> like what? Okay. <laughs> it's, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, what, hap that's what happens uh, apparently in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, and I was sitting uh, exactly uh, on top of the, the battlefield of ants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so they they launched uh, these very yummy uh, <laughs> looking uh, videos. It's very simple. It's really low production value, and uh, it was apparently performing super well. There was only like a 
a video of chips um, or crisps or whatever, uh, and they were just covered with a lot of ants. The, there was the hand and uh, the, the human voice uh, said uh, after just biting in the, to the crisps, like, yeah, this is tasting super good. But yeah, I will give that back. And it's like, it's no, like, I, I, don't, I don't understand the creative. But nobody cares, right? It's like a lot of ants, real food, and then uh, then the the end screen. Yeah, keep in mind that the end screen is really polished uh, in, in matter of 3D, so that that that's really important. It's catchy. Yeah, it, it may be just uh, like in this concrete case, the the player's motivation will be a curiosity, like what the fuck happened in that creative? I need I need to check it out. Um, there's no gameplay, nothing. It was just uh, the polished uh, polished end card. This is a this is a type of the video that's pretty much tailored for TikTok or Instagram Reels, um, where the best practice is to use real people and situation that look like a native content, and also creative length was length was really perfect because it was up to 15 seconds. So what happens on TikTok is like the best practice between nine to 15 seconds is like the the best performing creative. I, you know, like how many times I had to explain to a lot of people like, hey, it doesn't need to make a lot of sense. We just need to spark that, uh, you know, curiosity, humor situation or whatever. Just, you know, let's let's try that out. Let's try to create different creative concepts to be able to uh, to get different players and different types of players. The same as, as we discussed in the, in the session 17, where we discussed the creative uh tips and and uh, examples hmm. so in i would this, guess yeah. i would guess there's like 20 other you know ch chips feeding and oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, of perform in this yeah one much has made 19 of them Dude, of course <laughs> of course uh, there's like definitely any other food like uh, what pizza burger whatever else uh, covered with ants of course but then as the first, uh, the first creative concept. Then and you'll link, you link in the show notes to all these creatives, right? So people can have a look. Yes, I will link the um, the article that is already published on my website. And by the way, kudos to Tomasz uh, Belag who created this uh, analysis and wrote everything down, and also put all the creatives uh, on the on the website. So every every creative that we are talking about at the moment, it's live on the web, and it's going to be in the show notes. So again, kudos to Tomasz. Uh, so we have now like a, a second concept, which is leveling up and win uh, over the week. This is the type of the creative that was really used uh, for Mafia City, and I, I'm even seeing this. Uh, you have the you have the the crook, which is going through going um, uh, through the through the city, and then he just he got just beat by a really like big boss then he levels up and then you know beat the boss afterwards in this case it's always ants versus a different uh, different animal it was uh, mostly they're mostly using lizards and also they're they're using uh, spiders as well but the lizards are always like absolutely hilarious so in this case uh there was a there was a very small ant and then he was fighting uh, against uh, the lizard obviously he uh, he killed it, and then uh, his uh, his friends leveled leveled up, and then uh, killed the the lizard, and then they brought it into the kingdom, which was immediately leveled up. <laughs> it's <laughs> Zergrash, <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like the the ant was really hard work working to improve his levels, and then instantly just put a KO of the <laughs> for that lizard, and you know. Immediately, the whole stronghold or the kingdom uh, was up, <laughs> upgraded. It's actually pretty nice, but it also like these creatives are tailored mainly for, uh, let's say, the power motivation. I would uh, I would say, many games uh, or gamers play uh, these type of games for you know purpose of defeating others and achieving victory. So I can I can see the motivation here in the in this creative. And there are like multiple, multiple other examples that they were running, and it's like a lot of similar approach to the previous ads. It's more like uh, there are different uh, abilities to develop, and uh, and they're shown in those creatives. 
But those are super high production like levels if you look at them. Like those are all fully 3D, fully CGI, no like, you know, 2D, let's do this in 20 minutes something. Like oh, yeah. y- y- like I cannot imagine how much power had been or capacity thrown at making these because you have them, you know, fully animated, fully CGI, no, fully really, yeah. affected, like there's, you know, particle effects all around the place and everything. It's not only particle effects, but also emojis, like very weird ones, but still v- really funny. And, uh, you know, if you are actually getting like 20 million revenue, 20 million a year revenue, or maybe even more for this game, right? It was like 30 million a month. 30 million a month. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, 30 million a month. Sorry, a month. <laughs> then you need to spend a lot of money and resources on the creatives because obviously the spend is also very high and uh, and you need more channels you need to divers- diversify and need to um, refresh the creatives pretty often so that's why i think like they have a lot of different concepts and trying to use all the different motivations and uh, different teams but also even yeah within the power um, motivation they are using very different uh, creative concepts and it's really high production value as you said the different animals uh, different scenes and apparently this is working pretty well. Well, apparently. I, I bet this is pretty, working pretty well. Can I just yeah. ask both of you right now? So we're talking about this game. So obviously the game design is great. The creatives are great. They're earning a lot of money. Like, that's great. How much of their success is, like, game design and how much is the creatives? Like, sure, the game is good, but, like, how much of their success of that 30 mil a month is down to how good these creatives are? Um, maybe let me start here. Yeah. Uh, the forex kind of a market is really, really like red ocean currently. It's mainly occupied by Chinese companies, which are making these 20 million a month games. And like, I think 80% of those are from China or Asia. And like, there's few of those from the West. But uh, yeah, so there's like, let's say, progressive amount of innovation being done into the, into the genre that kind of differentiates these two. So let's say you have Rise of Kingdoms, which added like heroes on top of it. They have this kind of a really nice, sleek, uh, supercell level UI that they added in. It's landscape now. It's, you know, there's like multitudes of features being added to make the game really stand out. Then you have these other things which are kind of hoping to get this, let's say, masquerading funnel where it doesn't look like a forex game where you have either the top war thing or now you have the ant nest thing which again brings this kind of a usp into the genre but if for instance somebody would just go with the normal machine zone usual formula like they did before i don't think so it will work anymore so you need to have something more into it and usually something more means make the funnel bigger so you have a better throughput of players from beginning to the end because keep in mind that usually these games and UA in these games is about is about feeding the whales because yeah. these players are really really kind of a power payer hungry so like we said like what was it like 5 million downloads for last year altogether no, it's only for f- first 6 months for 6 months anyway like just five yeah, it's million. Not that, be- yeah, not that high number. Yeah. Yeah, because these games usually operate on really, really small DAUs compared to other games like you know, Candy Crush or whatever. These kind of casual games, uh, and the players are really, really expensive. So you need to make every player count pretty much. So even if it's not a pair, he kind of needs to be part of that kind of a treadmill where he joins the guild or is pretty much <laughs> feed it to the stronger players on the map to get yeah. there. And and the last thing is, of course, they chose a team that's not populated ever. That's why, you know, this end category is pretty much blasting it to 900% growth, but they are the category. Yeah, There's the no category. one else. Yeah, they created the category. But... Something similar, pretty much like, uh, let's say, when Golf Clash uh, was done, there was not uh, like a typical other golf game uh, on the market by the time, and they yeah. pretty much took the gacha from Clash Royale and implemented it into core gameplay of golf, which was really, you know, great move there. And this is something similar. Yeah, and also <clears throat> we need to think about how to get these uh, forex games uh, into the very low CPI levels because, yeah, what, what you said, if if you apply the the machine zone formula like these days it won't work in, in, even if you put six arnold schwarzeneggers in the in those <laughs> in those crazy like that won't work anymore this is something that happened for mighty party i think they 
they created this like very weird simplistic version of um, tower defense and it was like really like green with um, blue and red um, characters and units uh, or soldiers uh, fighting against each other they put it into the screenshots as well and then even before the the real tutorial real game so you saw that that like fake creatives you saw those fake creatives in the <laughs> in the screenshots and then you even saw those fake creatives as a like fake tutorial after you passed that <laughs> fake tutorial you saw 3d absolutely high production value uh game and it was like what the fuck just happened <laughs> but that was why they you know like the the final was really wide so they they could actually get a lot of players into the game and then capitalize on that um, in terms of the forex or whatever that game is uh, about these days so this is the same thing but they are actually i mean it's it's not that fake anymore because it's ant theme and it, they're just leveraging the the different creative concepts and i like kudos to the creative team i mean those guys are super super innovative and really creative because this is really funny i mean there are like a lot of different uh, different concepts with like people actually like there is like one i think uh, one uh, one creative in um in uh, in regular home where there's like uh, a lot of ants in in one uh, one place and there is like one little guy who destroys or kills the ant and then the, the rest of the ant they just get angry and then they start to like bite him in the ass afterwards i mean it's like super hilarious when you see it and like you see that ad it's like what the fuck is going on i really want to see i really want to see the game and play it but yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to the to the other concept because there there are the di different themes. Which now I think it, there is a one unique theme, which is ant breeding. I mean, most of the people don't breed ants or like raise ants in their home or own home. <coughs> Japan. I, yeah, except <laughs> Japan and Mr. Jakob over here, I guess. But you know, it's all about the the ant queen and her existence and this this kind of content that you can uh, you know build the the ant kingdom in the game. And uh, and the main tools of the game is just show the reproduction process of the ants through the exaggeration. But, but this is actually gameplay. Like this is not fake. Like, yeah, this the is first not hours fake, of yeah. the game you actually manage the ant colony. <laughs> yeah, you manage the ant colony, but it's still like there are some fake um, uh, items or uh, or options in that in those creatives. Even though like this is a very like the most close to the con to the, the the real gameplay as, as we can get <laughs> everything else is just really fake but still in facebook eyes this is not fake because it's uh it's the, the 3d high production cgi uh, type of uh, videos which apparently it's not fake but okay whatever yeah, but some of those are really outrageous on the Hero Wars formula, but I think they can follow a little bit of a different format because there it's more of a, um, I would say, like this kind of a usual mechanic trend where you'd have either the pin one, the tower one, or yeah. whatever's currently trending. Whereas here in the end one, it's like I, I, I would imagine there could be a video of 20 of them which would create a story, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and actually that's that's a pretty good point because I was uh, checking also the um, the comments below these uh, these creatives and uh, the players were just writing there. Oh well, I'm I'm really looking forward to the next episode and, and the next episode is like, oh, what kind of episodes you're talking about? <laughs> exactly, like th this is similar to Lily's Garden, for instance, where again yeah. you can put these in a line and they create a story actually. Yeah, but I'm not sure if these uh, all these creatives can put. A story together but uh, there are the, maybe the, um, the different there. motivations yeah maybe <laughs> the different motivations they c can actually uh, play and uh, you can see the story there but yeah so so we are talking about um, the expertise motivation the power motivation and progression motivation but then also let's not forget about competitors and hyper casual inspiration <laughs> You can see a lot of these uh, these creatives even by uh, with ants, and there is a lot of copying of top four. Uh, and top four, like kudos to these guys. I think they they were the first ones that started thinking about these hyper casual games and how they can actually adapt that to their um, gameplay and creatives. And uh, then there is uh, obviously Mafia City game approach. Well, who would said that? <laughs> and then. Uh, 
Hero Wars uh, as well. But not the usual, not the usual uh, tower, but there is the, the different um, hyper casual concept where you have these um, well, numbers uh, on the ground and you are just multiplying your, your ants and then fighting uh, some other animal. And then you have, um, well, there is like there's this one interesting um, creative concept that is uh, happening for Ri Rise of Kingdoms. You have these like uh, <laughs> weird actors, very far from uh, a type of actors. Let's say that way. <laughs> stock actors. <laughs> stock actors. It's not even stock actors, man. Stock actors are actually like uh, cringy and uh, and sl slightly funny. This is like way different it's it's really like very bad act, acting but yeah w whatever apparently it works for rise of kingdoms i i'm, I'm seeing the the same uh, actors all over again but then here they are using the same approach so we have multiple competitor creatives and also warpath i mean warpath is doing uh, such a such a great job so uh, uh, this is very similar to to the ants so they are definitely using them as uh, as an inspiration so we have really like four of these uh, big creative concept uh, categories. What do you think? Mm. Which of these uh, is, is performing the best according to, to your uh, opinion? Well, I did have a look at the games that I managed for Admon and definitely in these groups, like what I'm seeing, at least from my end, or like the most impressions I'm getting in my games, by the way, no one's complained about these ads as well, which is always really good. So I don't have to ban it on my end, which is also yes. good. So there's, you know, no, you know, pregnant people being kicked. So I have to ban them. So yeah. that yeah. surely helps with scale as well. But yeah, no, the first ones that you were talking about, the real live ones, those are like absolute, the ones that I see the most, like have the most impressions in the games that I manage. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I would have guessed it would be that kind of um, hyper casual Hero Wars gameplay that they're running lately. The one with really? the multiplying arrows. Yeah, I would say, I would say it's the the power motivation, because uh, those were also like really funny as well. So that definitely uh, kicked some emotions on my side, in, uh, and definitely I was laughing about that, about those creatives a lot. And uh, th those were the ones that made me actually download the game, even though I played it for only twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, it was just pretty dark for me uh, in terms of the, the visual design. Which one, the ants? Yeah, yeah, yeah the ants. It's in the ground. How, how, I know. how more light of, do you of want? Of course, I know, I know, I know, I know, but still. <laughs> still. So would you say right now, like anyone who's doing UA or creative, like look at the ants creatives, and this is like the gold standard from the last like six, seven months of like these guys absolutely nailed creative production. Oh, they, 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 are be, they, beat, they beat up yeah. Player X, they beat up Player X at their own game and they're just doing a really good job. Yeah, I'm not sure if they beat pr Player X, but they're doing a very good job. Yeah. Very, very good job. So when we when we talked about the, the rate uh, while we were analyzing the Rovio um, creatives, I think this is actually like a, another level, even better than the, the rate guys, because this is, this is really, really creative. Yeah, but the the right guys they have just let's say they focus on these really really high production value yes, course, CGI yeah. actor ones, but you cannot really you know have the capacity to to make like twenty of these like these guys are doing a month. Yeah. How how, how much new creatives is Ants Kingdom doing a month? Like a lot. A lot, yeah, a lot. I'm I'm seeing a lot of new creative concepts on a, on a, not even monthly but weekly weekly basis. So. Mm -hmm. If you like right now, we had like, we're speaking to a bunch of UA or creative people right now. Like, what would you say is like actionable items that you'd be like, hey, look at these creatives and think about this, like leverage this, because you can't just copy the creatives outright because that ship's already sailed. Yeah, you can, you can but nah, I'm not sure if that's going to work too much. But Depends, yeah, I would say. Yeah, I was always uh, against uh, using, uh, not always against, but you need to be, you need to be funny and then uh, you need to take uh, or need to take a humor into the, into your creative um, framework and also try to to leverage those hyper casual um, games uh, because that's always like broadens up your your creative appeal always those mechanics are really uh, really interesting even though it's it's a little bit fake but what can we do <laughs> this a little thing, bit <laughs> yeah this is the new norm <laughs> these days but um, uh, always the 
the power motivation in the the male oriented games is really really powerful you can you can see that like if if i was uh, running some creatives where you was just uh, fighting against someone you lost then you upgraded or leveled up yourself and then you won that was one of the best performing creatives always and this is taking it it on another level because it's even like even funny <laughs> mm. Because you know, like there was the there was this one one creatives uh, one creative with uh, with the frog, I think. Uh, so there was a frog who just ate an ant. Then the other ants got angry. They they got an electric uh, fence. They electric electric electrocuted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, electrocuted the 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 frog, and then just they took it to the to the kingdom and then leveled up the kingdom. And I saw the ads like what? Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> this is actually perfect. So, yeah, it's it's always about like in in the you can, you have these two two segments like male oriented games and female oriented games and the creatives within these two segments. So usually the male oriented games uh, creatives are all about the, the power progression, the humor and fun. The the female oriented uh, creatives are always about controversy. Uh, you have these drama, like, <laughs> drama <laughs> pregnancy, <laughs> bullshit, and, uh, and fake uh, fake stuff. And it's, it's something that really works. I mean, unfortunately, but it, that's that's the thing. Mm. I'm just looking here at the image of that, like, uh, you know, those arrows uh, yeah. that that pretty much Hero Wars took from some hyper-casual game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you look at the end variant and... Like how much time did they actually took them to make it? One day. One day, like of course. Uh, like it, it, yeah, it's super I, easy. I, it's, it's super I, easy. I just think like how, how robust is their kind of a you know production team because what like you have probably some kind of a unity scene. You have all the assets already made and it just an animated and you know render it out. Yeah, it's the mm. same thing that uh, what we do. I mean, on on the creative side, uh, you build that three D scene. Uh, it can be, I mean, you can spend more time to, for like uh, on building the scene, but you can also spend very less time because these creatives are no, not about the, the high production value, but about the mechanic from the high production uh, You don't need to spend that much yeah, time. Rather you exactly. create another five creatives in the meantime. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So there you go. But it's like, this is very, very easy to make uh, concepts, for example. Like all, the, all these hyper casual uh, concepts are really easy to make when you're comparing it to the like the 3D progression type of creative that, that they're using, you know, ants versus lizards, uh, mm. that's, that's very different. But again, if you are earning 30 mil a month, you are most probably spending somewhere around like maybe even like that level of budget. Let's say even if you spend like 10 million a month, that's pretty crazy. And you need a lot of creative concepts to actually, you know, manage the creative fatigue because if you're spending this this amount of money you will get the creative fatigue almost immediately mm. it's not like the good old days when your creative was alive for a year now it's uh, man if you're spending even like 50k uh, a month your creative can last like a, a week and then you're you're fucked <laughs> so you need mm. to refresh those if i would be now listening to you and after the episode i would go check the creatives which one would you know would i start with or like do I just look the last ones, or let's say like okay, let's let's use use the same formula that Hero Wars did. So we pick this creative, we do it in our kind of game environment, still fake, yeah. still gameplay, and just run it. That's it. Of course, why not? But I would say I would look at the, all the cre all the creatives and just take the inspiration from it, because you know even uh, the low production value creatives with like chips and real life ends that mm. can work. That can even that can work pretty well. On different uh, on different channels, so I would definitely look uh, into the the link that I will post in the <laughs> show notes. <laughs> they're all the they're all the videos, and uh, and take this inspiration or information to your brainstorming session with the with the team, and then like brainstorm the shit out of your heads. Uh, <laughs> mm. But it's also like if you're if you have a, a, a female oriented game, most probably this won't work that much. Of course, that's yeah. like a different different setup. Yeah, I would really wonder how how big is their CPI. With oh yeah, that's pff, man. But golden question. <laughs> again, again, again. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it on uh, on this podcast, but uh, or on on our Slovak podcast. But what I found out like the animal theme 
with different animals. I'm not going to mention the games I manage at the moment. But let's say the animal theme is absolutely the lowest CPI I've ever seen. Like very comparable to, to hyper casual games and even the So what like the, 15, 16 cents you're seeing or what? Depends. Yeah, in US 30, 30, 40 cents. Which is like on the purchase campaigns and not like my mobile app install campaigns, it's even even lower. So the animal theme and the, the visual design of animals like totally killing it. So I guess like these ants, even in combination with humor, these motivations, that can be around that. But with millions of month, billion, millions of uh, dollars spent, it's going to be most probably way higher, but <laughs> but still pretty manageable, even mm -hmm. for like Forex game. If they can hit like one digit CPI, they're golden. The question oh, yeah, is if they can yeah. do that on that I scale. Would, yeah, and on that scale, I'm not sure if they can do that, but it's my assumption would be somewhere between like 10 to 20 dollars. Mm. And on that scale, that's that's golden. Yeah, that's of course. For, that's for sure. And if you if you and that's like for purchase or value optimized campaigns for that those whales. If you are just you know feeding the whales, you only need you mobile app install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only need mobile app install optimization, which is super, which can be super effective and really low CPI. Mm. Yeah. Cool. And on nice. that bombshell, should we wrap up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. because we had a lot of um, uh, long episodes. I think this can be short shorter one and uh thank you very much for listening hit the subscribe button if you like uh, what you are hearing and seeing because we are growing like crazy on youtube <laughs> and go check the creatives they really worth it at least the and laughs. if you don't and if you don't like what you're hearing get your legal team to reach out to us we love hearing <laughs> no, 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 from no, no, legal no. teams <laughs> yeah let's not do that yeah let's not do that please please let's not, let's not go there i, I want to sleep uh, sleep well yeah. So, but yeah, if and yeah, obviously, if you don't like what you're hearing, please let us know that as well. Absolutely. Okay. Love we love feedback. feedback. Yeah. We love feedback. All right. Thank Until you very week. much. Bye. Until See ya. Bye bye.